Welcome back to Gravity Falls Vlogs. I and we're back from outer space. Gonna watch some Gravity Falls. Just see that whole look on your face. It's pretty funny. Is that the look? Yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah. it's so good to see an episode again. It feels like coming home. Especially after seeing Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you. The actual good dark stuff well, for there was, kids and you have so much there was coming it. there was coming in that one but not the same time <laughs> um Shh, this is a kid show <laughs> so this is uh the northwest uh mansion mystery the uh little codes at the end is next up on the used to be about history channel did aliens write the constitution crawdads and tiaras and florida the show <laughs> 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 it's true, because it's Florida. Hey, where's our next convention at? Florida! Oh! Son of a... <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. And then, here's the other thing. The, the one other code, the number code at the end, just repeats three times. Stan is not what he seems. Stan is not what he seems. Stan is not what he seems. Interesting. Stan was not in this episode. Actually. Well, that's I'm what's just, so interesting. I'm just but realizing big, that. But there's a big warning at the end, like in 21 hours, like the apocalypse is happening. And the funny thing is, oh, that, the apocalypse is always happening. No, I know, but there's like a counter and a, a countdown and stuff. You see uh, uh, Bill Cipher watching again, and hmm. uh, what I'm, what's funny too is that this was a long time before this episode came out. There's a long gap. If I'm right, I think there's another long gap. I'm not sure, but even if there's not, I heard there is. And it, it, even damn if it. there's, even if there's not, this episode, oh, really good. I, I really like this episode. This, this episode was great. Yeah, I, but it, you, it opened up just great with that whole line about, um, "You are my possessions. Obey me." <laughs> I, but, but I want to try that on my computer. Whatever it's acting. You out. know, at the end, they're like, "Well, this is a really long gap that people have in between." Uh. Throw in something important at the end, like something back to the mystery, and it was like this great big, you know, oh my god, you can tell it's the last minute. Oh my Dipper's god, like, I, wanted, know, no, 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 I wanted to smack side. Dipper when he's just like, eh, can't we, like, save it for tomorrow? I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it now! Uh, so this is an episode, it's a uh, Pacifica Northwest episode that I'm usually not a fan of those episodes, because it's like, oh, again, you're the bully, you're the jerk. Uh, but it was a really good one, because they do what I think they should do with bullies, is a, they make them funny, and B, they make them interesting. Yes, and sympathetic. Uh, that, this... I'll tell you, you want tight writing? That whole bit with the bell. You don't need to know. Said everything you needed you to know. You don't even know what they had to do About Pacifica's to childhood. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. It was I, like the creepiest thing. I, we kept, yeah, we kept looking at each other. I'm just like pretty creepy like, yeah like i'm not even like it was legitimately I, I little, disturbing i laugh a little bit because it's like a kid show and it's over the top but i'm like no that was like but the way she got that scared, scared look out. on her face like ding, 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 ding. i'm like well, yeah, and you don't see her genuinely like afraid it's yeah. like oh i'll pay you to save me or something but it's like she was like no no i'll be quiet like i will respect the bell and it's like Whoa! It, um, it, yeah, that, and I'm you like, have no idea was, what they did. I mean, that was, was disturbing. That that pretty much gave you all the sympathy you needed for Pacifica in seconds, mere yeah. seconds. I'm like, wow, that that just explained everything. You I know, I didn't even need to know anything. Else. Uh, you know, and so many people are always like, what do you have against Wachowski speeches and Christopher Nolan speech? And what are you anti philosophy, anti speech? No, speeches are fine when they're needed, but they're not always needed. Sometimes just the simplest thing can get it, and man, you're right, just every time that bell came out, she just went quiet, it was like, God, was that uncomfortable. It was like legitimately uncomfortable. Had Morpheus just rung a bell for <laughs> Neo, I think we could have saved a lot of time in the <laughs> six movies. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, if, if someone would ring a bell every time they do a long-winded speech, that'd be great. <laughs> that bell would never stop. <laughs> right? Have you ever thought about what it means to be here? But the philosophy, but our goal is to break the bell. Uh, but we're not talking about that. We're talking wow. about <laughs> such anger in you. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. We are talking about <laughs> Gravity Falls. Uh, a ghost is haunting the mansion because they're going to do this great big party. And only the, the ghost lumberjack LeChuck. Yes. <laughs> we both thought of Monkey Island. When yeah, we saw the flaming him. beard. Um, and uh, it's haunting this place because they keep out the riffraff. They only let the creme de la creme richest people come in. Uh, so Dipper and Mabel are, are coming. Well, specifically Dipper, I guess, uh, to solve it. Him and Pacifica go on this wild goose chase. Uh, 
Mabel and her girlfriends try to hint on a hit on this uh, fancy prince. Australian, I, I think it was a prince, think. right? Yeah. <laughs> but he's Austrian. <laughs> yeah, the, the Dumb and Dumber Joe, pretty much. Uh, but it was funny because it's like, you know, so do you eat kangaroos or how does that work? Um, I would have liked to have seen a sweater dress. That Her dress was very funny, but I thought it would have been funny. Oh, just that a reminds really long me. Sweater. sweater watch, or as I like to call it, swatch. Uh, today's sweater was brought to you by a moose and some pine trees. It was yes, it very was northern a, exposure. Yeah. Um, but uh, so they go through and they they're running away from this ghost. The ghost finally says, "The only way I'll the curse will be broken is if you let the common folk in." And Pacifica finally does that, despite the uh, ring a ding ding. I'm a ring a ding ding. <laughs> Is the spell not working? We're gonna eat the butt. Yeah. <laughs> We've got enough sandwiches in the panic room to last a week. <laughs> Psst, we're gonna eat the butt. <laughs> and everyone comes in, just trashes the place. The parents are uh, totally angry and upset. Don't learn anything, which I like. Uh, yeah. Because not all it's the all bad on, people in the world are gonna learn Pacifica. something. Yeah, I really like she defines them, and she's not really rewarded from the parents. The parents only like, they're still gonna be me, and she's gonna probably face some sort of punishment. But it was still the right thing, so I really like that. Um, I, I well, I think we've got our post Wendy rebound. I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna go with Pacifica. You feel on the feels, yeah. I, I, I'm feeling some feels. I, I would not have predicted feels. that, but it's kind of like. I can see that. No, I, I can totally see that at your count working, especially because he did. You know what it is? Well, it's now like, that she's more sympathetic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they are. They start with that. You know, like halfway through, I think the golf episodes where they try to work in that she can be kind of sympathetic, uh, mm. which they never did with Robbie. You know, he was always a jerk. Uh, you know, but here they work in, and they give her this really fascinating backstory without giving too much detail. I mean, like I said, just the bell is enough. And you, re she really feels remorse and stuff. So, uh, and you see Dipper sort of see that transition as well. And it comes from a place where it's like anyone would hate her. It's not a matter of oh, they're just doing this so they can do a romance. It's like no, she was a genuinely unlikable person. And then they gave her more. It was her out more. It was a great way to reintroduce her as a potential love interest, as a character you could follow now, and not just be like bitch. Or what was yeah, it blonde yeah. stereo? What did Mabel say? I don't remember. Uh, she had some line in the golf episode, you blonde stereotype. Oh, you blonde one-dimensional stereotype. That was it. You blonde one-dimensional stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and they... Uh, yeah, I like that because it's not like, oh, and they're just going to hate each other until they like each other. There's a real genuine understanding from both sides, and it, it didn't feel forced. It felt very natural. Um... And I guess from a, uh, and, and, oh, and then at the end, yeah, McGucket comes in and says, the apocalypse is upon us. God, you know, God, you really? the laptop and everything. And there's a picture of Bill Cipher not only watching, but, like, people burning by a tree at the bottom. Uh, so a, a nice little, oh, my God, what's going to happen uh, episode. The only, the only thing I, I missed, Grunkle Stan, and uh, I missed a little bit of Mabel. I was not a very Mabel-heavy episode, and... It was good despite that. Despite that. Yeah, I mean, the, the the stuff of the girlfriends was okay. I like them doing the chocolate cheese, chocolate cheese. Oh my god, that, I laughed so hard at that. It's like, no, you've entered a sweet, savory loop that you can't get out of. That's my breakfast. You're <laughs> like so the, white. The sweet, savory <laughs> loop. I'm Every just day like, I open do I up with two pancakes? fondue fountains. No, 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 not fondue. It's do I want pancakes or do I want like a skillet or something? Pancake skillet, and then you get like pancakes, and then you get like sausage or bacon or something, and then like you get the maple syrup. It's like, do I dip the bacon in the maple syrup? Do I get chocolate chip pancakes? Do I like? It's the sweet savory loop. It's just like, and when you've had enough of sweet, then you stop looking at me like I'm crazy. Once you, I'm had not a, looking at you like you're crazy. I'm looking at you like this is quite the first world problem. <laughs> Well, I didn't say it was a real problem. <laughs> I'm just saying once you get sick of sweet, then you want savory. But then when you do the savory, then you want sweet again. It, it, it's just loop. No, now that you're still talking about it, now I'm looking at you like you're crazy. Because that's uh, pretty insane to talk You've about. You've never had this problem. Never? I'm very proud to say I have not. Like, badge of honor proud. Then, then you have a boring, sad breakfast. It is sad. You should feel I, sad. I enjoy my grape nuts, sir. It is the most exciting of the cereals. 
Ew. Right next to shredded wheat. <laughs> Dry. Yes. Not the frosted crap. I always turned them I'm, over when I saw the frosted crap. I'm lactose crab. intolerant. I only pour water. <laughs> uh, that's that's the, an exciting life. We're finally life in the mood for a special dog. treat. Orange juice on top. Uh, <laughs> that's just nasty. Uh, but no, with this episode, the, the things that really stood out to me outside of the stuff we've mentioned, which is all uh, wonderful. Uh, Do you think that was an Evil Dead reference with the uh, talking animal heads? Maybe. I kept wanting um, them to go. <laughs> it's not that, you know, a lot of really like, if I was a little kid, this would be the scariest episode I would have seen. Yeah, this episode was pretty creepy. Yeah, there's like blood dripping from the animal's mouth. They all start talking. A skeleton comes out with an axe in his head. You see the axe go into his head. He turns them all into wood, including all the main characters. Like, to me as a little kid, that would be the point where I'd be like, Game over, man! Game over! Yeah, like, when you lose Dipper, really I'd be like, out. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, and they like go, their eyes go like soulless, and, you know, you Somebody can't see the people. Yeah, I mean, it's like, when I was a little kid, even though, like, even now, I don't know why but whenever somebody's turned to like stone or a statue or can't move or like a robot or something like that even though i know that can't happen that like really scares the shit out of me for some reason i don't know and yet why you've never fallen victim to the sweet savory loop what do those two things have in common fucking nothing they i'm have just nothing saying you're common. not normal so on, on top of really liking that it was pretty scary never quite too far but pretty damn scary uh for, for little kids um I really love the artwork in this one. Like, it seems it like it's just really getting better and better. Episode. Yeah, like the the colors and the uh, uh, the line work and the motion and uh, the lighting and the shadows. I like when the Austrian kid came in. The background, yeah, the, the light, the, the sun, sun just behind the cloudy skies is like that Napoleon picture where he's like riding back up on the horse, and it's like it had this epic quality to it. And then they bring in like the music with all these horns, like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know, I love the little it's touches to detail silly. that just make in a it a fun way. That just make it a little better, and not just the the voice acting, which is really good in this one, but the I don't uh, hate Dipper's voice anymore. <laughs> I realized that when he started talking, I'm like, okay, well, I, I four months of watching this, I guess that's a cutoff point because it doesn't bother me anymore. But I think you know, also like at the very end when they realize they're on the carpet and. You know, she grabs something and throws it on the ground, and it's like, I'm sure the script says Dipper knocks over plate of beers or something like that. But the way they animate it, just like, oh, uh, oh, uh, like that, and then he laughs. It's like, not only does that make it a little funnier, but it's like those little touches where, if it was on its own, it probably wouldn't be anything that special, but after all those other laughs, it just creates that environment, creates that roll of laughter where you just enjoy laughing, and you, they just keep playing those little touches. And, uh, yeah, I just sort of saw all of that in this episode. Like, you know, just the little touches, the great animation, the great voice work, uh, great characters, you know, and a good story. And it didn't necessarily tie back into the main big mystery, which is why I'm so shocked that I'm like, wow, this one was so good, because it still didn't tie into, like, what the really big questions are. And it are. proved you can do a really good episode without Mabel. You don't yeah. need Mabel. <laughs> But it helps. <laughs> no, that Mabel, like I said, Mabel or and Stan. Or Zeus. Or uh, Grunkle Stan. Yeah, that's true. Like, a lot of the really big heavy hitters were not in this one. Uh, there was still a little bit of Mabel. She was, she yeah, was a she side was story. Um, but, yeah, de definitely not a lot of the usual main big players. Uh, and it, it was fine. Like you said, it was fine. It just rode the emotion of it as well as the comedy. And uh, as I'm not usually, like, a huge fan of, like, sort of warmer colors like the browns and the oranges and stuff but yeah they oh, just they did it really balanced well in this out episode, wonderful though. in this um we uh without revealing what it is the next nc we're review uh reviewing uh tries to do this and it just comes across as very flat and very boring not awful i mean but it's just not they they try to do something very similar with the shadows and sort of the colors and stuff and they it's so tried. nice it could have, i think we disagreed a bit i thought it could have been worse but no it, it definitely like it wasn't i, I bad, didn't but, mind it as much as you but did. but it's like man the this did it better though yeah I, mean. I think because i have such a love for it you do too we have such a love for that very gothic um uh design and architecture and colors and stuff like that when it's done well uh, it's to be so appreciated because you see so many people that I'm sure tried very hard and there is artistic style to it, but it's so hard not to fall into what a million other oh. people have done already. So speaking of color, like, I, I forgot to bring this up in the last vlog we did, but on the sweater watch, I think if I remember, it was like a rainbow colored sweater or something, but is that like some sort of LGBT thing? Because like, it had that specific look to it. 
I thought it was more like the more you know star. Maybe. I'd have to I'd have to think, because I remember thinking about it and I never brought it up. Well no no the the and maybe somebody maybe somebody has an answer. No no I no, I, I I think that's the uh, because, uh, you know, rainbow one of the, is, is one the, of the sign, episodes. but the triangle rainbow, I think, isn't that the sign, I think? Like, or, or like, even though I, 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 I forget. It's been so long, but We're I remember... Awful. We need to do more research on this. I remember thinking it when I... Well, you had seen it already. I This is the first time we've seen an episode together that you hadn't already watched. So, it's driving me nuts. I just remember thinking that, and I didn't bring it up. So this is back around Christmas. We were talking about so many other things. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't bring it up. But I remember thinking, I was like, I wonder if that's some sort of LGBT reference. Like, I, but I don't have an answer for that. I was just curious. My, my guess would the be... the commenters, I'm sure, will say yeah, yes or my, no. My guess would be no, because I think it's usually the triangle. Like, because uh, rainbow's rainbow, whatever. I know it's like the, the symbol and stuff. But it's like the official symbol, I think. I think it is a triangle with the rainbow inside. I just, for I some reason, remember thinking, "Wow, that really looks like the flag or something." For the the like maybe the it, flag. It, it, if somebody I, I noticed maybe. it, if somebody was like, "Yes, here's I don't know," it's, and stuff like that. It's something maybe that I Mabel's forgot to gay rights. Great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just it's something I noticed, and I was like, "Oh, that seems very specific," and I forgot to bring it up. Like so, and I just kept remembering like every week. It's like when we do this again, I was like bring that up and it, it, but if you saw that I don't mention know. it let us know uh, let, let, let's see if Mabel even at such a young age is very pro gay rights that'd be uh, I don't cool. care she maybe, clearly maybe is not gay nothing, I mean she's obsessed with boys maybe it is something but she could be it. bi could, could be a Cora uh, um well I <laughs> I think we know who out of those three the bi one probably is <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, but then she 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 well, like maybe the not. Yeah, she, she she got the no. No, she did like she like yeah yeah. So all three, I I don't know. <laughs> well, but you could still be bi though, and like, no, you could. It's totally good. We said bi. Yeah, exactly. Add to the so many possibilities. Um. So yeah, if you saw like something like yes, that was a, a reference to that. And let us know if it's just, just a curious. rainbow. It's just a rainbow. I could be out of my fucking mind. <laughs> But that is the Mabel effect, so. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to need to get another sweater at some point. Yes. So uh, wrap yourself in more Christmas lights. It'll be fun. Woo! <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's about it. Great episode. Really loved it. Can't... Can't wait can't another wait a few month. weeks for the other one. I, I want it now. I know. It's so good. It's such a good show. So. But I want it now. <laughs> Rob Rukum, old Gravity Falls. <laughs> you Rukum, Rukum, darling, you've got the Gravity Falls episode already. <laughs> <laughs> so, great episode, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.